But five, a scare at a New Hampshire hospital when a patient in a struggle with a hospital worker released a white powder into the air. That patient had been transported from the police department and appeared to be hiding the drugs. WBZ's David Robichaud is live in Manchester, New Hampshire now with the latest. Roby? Lisa, I just got off the phone with a hospital spokesperson. She says everything is back to normal in the ER. And though no patient services were ever interrupted, she says it did cause quite a scare. Manchester police busted 26-year-old Theodore McCanus in the middle of the night after his girlfriend said he had struck her in a McDonald's parking lot. After his arrest, the suspect complained he didn't feel well, so police took him to the Elliott Hospital. Well, at one point in time, he asked the officer to use the restroom. Upon doing so, the officer realized he was actually trying to get rid of some drugs that he had concealed inside his body. A struggle ensued, the bag ripped, and a white unknown powdery substance spilled all over the floor. The bathroom area was sealed off, but the police officer, a security guard, a doctor, and a nurse were all exposed and felt sick. Yeah, they complained of headaches, nausea, just feeling foggy, not right, um, and had a little bit of uh, elevated heartbeats. All ended up being okay, though tests haven't come back on what the substance was. The fire department does not believe it was the deadly opioid carfentanil. We went by the symptoms of the people that were exposed to it. Um, so we were pretty, we're almost certain it's not a car fentanyl incident because they would have needed Narcan. Um, they, they've been a lot more than just nauseous. The hospital spokesperson just told me that she just checked and the test results on the pottery substance still hadn't come back from the state lab. Again, everyone who was exposed was treated and released from the hospital, but Manchester police tell me that two of their officers are going to have some additional tests done tomorrow just as a precaution. Live in Manchester, I'm David Robichaud, WBZ News. All right, Robichaud.